we had our Christmas party over at Downing. <laughs> um, Dave and his band, the old Saddos, were all there to entertain us. And those that were there this year and last year know how brilliant they were. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, this year, our drummer, despite the fact that we didn't know at the time, had been unwell for a couple of weeks beforehand. But the show must go on, he turned up. Two thirds of the way through the evening, he um, was taken a bit ill. He spit off, they carried on playing without a drummer. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> after a few, one, few minutes, he came on back, carried on for the rest of the evening. They packed up, went home. <clears throat> a bit later on, Dave got a phone call, about one o'clock in the morning? Yeah, yeah, one o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> From Reg, the drummer, saying, Dave, you know I was feeling not so well. He said, well, I went off with Lou's, to, I thought I was going to be sick. He said, and I've left me false teeth on the... Uh, <laughs> 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 so, uh, first thing in the morning, Dave had to go to, down into uh, re retrieve said false teeth. <laughs> but I've been contacted by Downing because they found some more. <laughs> And they're concerned as to whether or not you collected the right ones. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you very much for that. Right, next one. It's a white one, number 11. Got a little blue line on it, that one. I think last year I tickets for the same time. Number 11! Yes. Yeah, good man. Eight one, this one. Nine, two, four. We have it up! Oh, good job! Right, this one's a green one. Eight, three, three on the green. Oh, go on then. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Right, one this one. Eight, two, one on the pink. Seven, three, four, pink. 
Ja. Research was actually moonlighting as the star of that show. <laughs> so if I open the thing up, any guesses? Who does that, who does that look like? Now, Derek, where are, is Derek there? Oh, he's gone. He'll be back in a minute. He'll be back in a minute. Well, what's it? Well, go and give. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that. Right, any guesses? Come back to it, Dave. Come back to it. Come back to it. No, I can't. All right. <laughs> David, David. You can't change the I change my schedule. It's worth the wait. I bet he don't guess who it is. It's not coming. Did you tell Not an escort. But the name's on it. Who is it? There he is. Right. 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 Who does that look like? Who does that look like? Oh, come on. Who does that look like? 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 That's impressive. Right, so that's, that was Dan, Daniel Jewell. What I found out, actually, is on a Wednesday afternoon, there's an understudy for the female part. So the Corn Exchange very kindly gave us this poster. And... <laughs> the occasion to ensure that uh, everything gets sorted out. Bit of a superhero, superhero really. So, um, 
First of all, we need you. Um, <laughs> perhaps I should have given these to one of the ladies to sort out for us. Stockings. There's some. Uh, <laughs> 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 like I said, I should have got one of the ladies to sort this out, shouldn't I? I'll tell you what, he's born to be asleep before he's. Thank you, please put them on the Okay, that's a bit more decent now. Only my Member of the British Empire. Wow. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Be in the role, yeah, absolutely. That's how you can put the double nose in there. Yeah, you put the double nose in Oh, you got the oars? We can't have it up the crew. Got the hat? Flood man. The flood man, that's still over this indeed. Actually, that doesn't look bad. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> and just to make sure that everything gets sorted out properly, you have the duke tape to go with it. Hang on a minute. To be fair, you might be in charge, but you didn't actually do anything. Where's Steve gone? Where's Steve gone? Because Dave always managed to organise to ensure that uh, someone is there to help out and accordingly. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to. I've got your zip stuck, hang on a minute. This is Dave Nickel affair again. As far as this flood was concerned, it didn't just um, consist of all the, uh, the nice easy stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Protective gear was required. <laughs> Risk assessment to enable them to do the job properly. <laughs> so, uh, just so you can remember it all the time, Dave. You've got yourself a certificate. Ah. Appropriately. <laughs> and as with all superhumans, <coughs> Superman, his downfall was kryptonite. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jam doing it. Actually, I must be honest and say. It wasn't me, it was Terry. Steaming up 
Another raffle ticket. We carry on with the raffle. Now, here we go again. Oh, another pink one. I'll shake them up next time. Uh, I'll get right Nine, six, eight on the pink. Nine, six, eight. I'll just give them a shuffle now. <laughs> Nine, six, eight. It's Alan. Why is it green one? Nine six six on the green.
the food. God, not one. Hang on, Sorry, mate. Let's stay the loony too earlier in the presentations. He went to see uh, the Royals. And with, with some others from the department. Um, anyone that had anything, any, that I spoke to him the weeks leading up to it would realise the one thing he was looking forward to more than seeing Kate and Wills was free food. <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, he's become quite adept at finding the free food in the department. So I thought we could give him a little emergency. <laughs> Three nine four on the white. 